Low-dose computed tomography, or LDCT, is an imaging technique widely used to screen for lung cancer. Lung cancer screening recommendations currently revolve mainly around a patient's age and smoking history, based on inclusion criteria of pivotal clinical trials. This approach is not optimal, considering the recent increase in lung cancer diagnoses among those with a history of never or light smoking. To this end, a team of researchers from the Jamil Clinic at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and Massachusetts General Hospital developed a deep learning algorithm that can predict individual lung cancer risk without clinical or demographic data inputs. The algorithm, named Sybil, uses data from a single LDCT scan to predict the likelihood of the development of lung cancer one to six years in the future. Sybil was trained using over 28,000 scans with known lung cancer risk and was programmed to learn from expert annotations of biopsy-confirmed cancers to better reason over the entire LDCT. The team evaluated the performance of Sybil using three independent datasets of LDCT scans of diverse patient cohorts from the National Lung Screening Trial, Massachusetts General Hospital, and Changgung Memorial Hospital in Taiwan. They found that Sybil could forecast short- and long-term lung cancer risk from the LDCT scans accurately for a wide range of patients and on modern scanners. Moreover, it provided relevant information regarding future lung cancer risk in patients. Sybil has the potential to revolutionize lung cancer screening and management, enhance personalized screening, and reduce the overall frequency of biopsies. Combined, these applications can increase cost-effectiveness and may make LDCT-based lung cancer screening feasible even in low-resource settings. Importantly, the preliminary data indicate that Sybil may be a powerful tool for prioritizing patients who are at higher risk of lung cancer, regardless of their smoking history. Further research is warranted to enable Sybil for real-world clinical applications.